still hope. Um, still an ex- we're still expectancy of a, a performance this weekend. Um, but let's be honest, the last two wins have given us that chance. Um, you, you cast your mind back a couple of weeks ago where we, we were struggling to score, um, struggling to affect the opposition, and those three nil-nil results uh, really put us on the back foot. So the fact that we've got a chance this weekend um, is testament to the last couple of results and the performances we've put in towards the end of each of those games. Obviously, last weekend's win at Bolton was it was an amazing end to that game. I think all of us, you know, we're really happy about how that game went. But I think it's important not to get carried away with that result too much and just have calm heads going into this one. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be totally different. Um, Barrow, a different team to Bolton. Um, we play a different way. You, you were there at that game. That was an open game. Um, lots of chances, both ends of the pitch. Lots of space on a, a seriously good surface. Um, so you'd expect this to be a classic end of season game where it's tight and nervy. Um, and that you know both teams are fighting for the lives in relation to to getting a hold of foothold in the game, um, but we take a little bit of confidence into it. Um, confidence from the second half performance, confidence from scoring two goals in that second half. You know the confidence of coming back into a game on the Tuesday night at Grimsby and getting the equaliser and getting a win late on, um, and just the feeling of momentum or the feeling of, of feeling positive about your own performance is something the players have, have certainly felt in the last few days, um, and they train really well today. So we're looking forward to this weekend. We know the pressure's there. We know. You know what the, the magnitude of the game is in relation to the outcome, and we want our season to continue. How is the squad looking after after last weekend? Because I think they were all knackered, weren't they? After at the end, oh, they were. They were. Um, look, a couple of them didn't train. Well, three of them didn't train for the first half of the week, um, and that was with slight strains and a, a knock um, in relation to what they picked up at, at Bolton. Um, I've said to the press previously that was that game was 30% higher than any other in terms of physical output and it really took its toll on the group um, so we weren't wrapping them in cotton wool at the start of the week but there was a couple of players who've been touch and go in relation to this weekend um, luckily the majority of the group have trained today and we expect them to be fit enough tomorrow to, to train again and then to obviously uh, be available for selection this weekend um, Sam Stubbs will miss out Joe Randall this game unfortunately just falls too soon in relation to his recovery um, but apart from that we hope to have a, a fully fit squad whatever happens on Saturday results wise how have you how do you assess this season for your players let's get this weekend out of the way first and foremost um, let's be honest in terms of what we felt going into the season um, on the back of the recruitment and back of losing a lot of players from last season and coming so close last season we knew it'd be totally different and we know it would be difficult but then some of the performances certainly in the first half of the season suggested we had a chance of of competing towards the top end of the table I've got to be honest with you I feel it's been a, a relatively poor league in terms of standard this year certainly in terms of the first half of the season um, and whether you look at our results or other results elsewhere a lot of teams weren't in a good position for those first three or four months of the season and um, probably due to the circumstances which led into the season and, and understandably so but certainly since Christmas and January onwards um, teams seem to have got a hold and a handle of the league and the, the, the expectations of the league and the needs of the league and a lot of teams have improved off the back of that so the season's felt more realistic in terms of the second half of the season from Christmas onwards um, but the fact that we're still competing is, is testament to this this group of players testament to the character testament to the, the skill levels and um, we know we've fallen short at certain times this season in terms of getting into those top positions and obviously automatic promotion and even within the, the playoff campaign at an earlier stage um, but we're still in, in there with a fighting chance um, and we have to win one game of football and hope that results, results go our way elsewhere How's it going to work for you on Saturday? Are you just going to wait till 90 minutes to see what, what the other teams have done or are you going to have someone in your ear every now and then? With an oh, look, you know, we, there's enough people behind me in the stand to understand what we need to know information-wise. Um, but no distractions for myself and the players. Just concentrate on the job at hand. You know, nothing is important elsewhere if, if we don't win the game of football and we don't pick up the points. So we've got to concentrate on that first and foremost. But we will have half an eye on what's going on elsewhere. Um, but I'm sure, you know, almost guarantee there'll be twists and turns along the way, not only in our own game, but, but elsewhere. And we can't control that. We just have to control our performance and hopefully have a real effect on that outcome come Saturday. And finally, then, this might be another one that you'd rather answer after Saturday. But what's been some of your, your favourite moments from this season? Any, any standout, you know, matches or moments for you? Well, Pierce's 95th minute winner wasn't wasn't a bad one, was it? Um, but the way that game was as well, that felt like a, a proper game of football. You know, we, we turned up and there was how many thousand fans outside and, you know, whether they, 
they, they were waiting for the promotion for Bolton, rightly so. But the, the stadium, the pitch, the, the feel, um, playing a good team, um, playing a team who played football in a, in a, a certain way, it, it felt like a proper game of football. And it felt like a, a quick game of football, what we just said there about the physical outputs. But we were really stretched and so were Bolton. And luckily we came out on top, um, beating the league leaders at the time, Cambridge, 4-1 away from home was a real highlight. And then some of the bigger score lines early on in the season. But that, that you put it all into context and you, and you see what the group have done and achieved um, in terms of individuals. And you look at some, how some of the young players have progressed and some of them uh, debut seasons, making a debut, scoring the first league goal. Um, and they've done that alongside a, a group of more experienced players or more senior players who've almost held their hands through it. Let's be honest, it's been pretty tough at times. It's been pretty brutal. Um, people won't have always enjoyed watching us play with not been free for the whole season of I had a rhythm throughout the whole season and it's been difficult it's been a hell of a slog um, but we'll still you know digest it when it's done um, but it's not done quite yet um, and we still might have a, quite a little in the reckoning